How much help can Australia be when we provide weapons such as Bushmasters, APCs, etc., to Ukraine? How much help is that on the ground? I think you have to keep in mind that uh, 80% of the Ukrainian military that existed at the beginning of this war is now destroyed. 80% of its manpower killed or wounded. And even in the best of times, a standing professional force has difficulty rapidly assimilating new weapons, particularly the kind that you just described, that are not easily employed without first uh, serious training. So I would argue that probably not a great deal. Of course, there is a plan, I, I'm told, in Washington to sustain this conflict indefinitely until uh, the Russians are defeated or we run out of cash, I don't know which. But uh, in the short run, no, I don't think it'll have much impact. So, so when it comes to potentially changing the course of the conflict, uh, again, you would, you would suggest minimal? Yeah, if you look at the enormous losses the Ukrainians have taken, uh, how well would anybody do under those circumstances if you're bringing in reservists, uh, essentially pressing manpower into uniform to fight that are not trained and, and have no experience? It's not going to go very well. In the meantime, the, the Russians uh, have withdrawn most of their regular army combat forces, about 70 to 80 percent of them. They're resting and refitting, and most of the fighting is being done by Russian separatists from uh, eastern Ukraine, Chechens, mercenary troops backed by Russian artillery. So the Russians are by no means overstretched or hurting mm. at this point. So what could nations like Australia be doing instead of, of the weapons or the military hardware that we're providing? What could we be doing instead? Well, if you understand that the longer this lasts, the more people are going to be needlessly slaughtered, the more damage will be done to Ukraine. It's already effectively a failed state. It could mm. be erased completely from the map then I would argue that we need a ceasefire. And Australia should press for that because no one in Washington is going to do it. But I'm hearing from people in uh, Berlin and Paris and those in London who would like to have another no confidence vote and remove Boris Johnson, that there's growing support for just that.